If somebody put this design on Steve Jobs' desk, they'd be fired. I'm Walt Mossberg. I have been reviewing tech gadgets since the early 90s and collecting them since the 80s. And I wanted to show you some of my collection. So this is a real milestone product in consumer technology. It's the first successful e-reader. It's the Amazon Kindle, the very first one. There were many tries at e-readers before Kindles, and I was quite interested in it, so I uh, reviewed them all. And they all had huge problems, either in terms of acquiring the books, or reading the books, or battery life, or whatever. The Kindle was the first thing that had, I think, a really terrific reading and buying experience. Within a few pages, you completely forget that you're reading on a Kindle. And that was our top design requirement. It's an incredible way to get books. You can, you know, one push of a button and you, you have whatever new book you wanted. I will say that uh, it is one of the worst and ugliest industrial designs. It can't be a flashy device. It's really not that well designed. It was clumsy. It was very easy to accidentally turn the page. You had this huge button here, which was also where you held it. And if you hit this button, the page would turn. So you were constantly turning the page when you weren't ready to turn the page. It had a physical keyboard that was really funky. It, the keys were kind of at strange angles. To scroll, you use this little wheel, and then what looked like an old mercury thermometer would have some kind of indicator that went up and down in this little tiny uh, window. I mean, it was just uh, awful. I think what's carried forward from this is the idea that uh, and it's still controversial among some people, but the idea that you can carry around many, many books in one fairly small device. They built Kindle apps that ran on other people's platforms and worked seamlessly with these devices, or even if you didn't own these devices. So they created a, a massive ecosystem around this. And that has been an enduring uh, legacy of this. What went away was all this, all this crapola around it. Look, it was the first shot at something that was really important and became important. When you think of e-readers, you think of Kindle. It's just, it's like Kleenex. And that's really a testament to what they did here.